Hey guys, it's LukeMan97, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to show you how to install a mod in Flight Simulator X. So, uh, this is going to be a tutorial video, obviously. Um, I'm sorry for not meeting my upload schedule yesterday, but basically, me and Diesel are working on a Forza video that shows you how to use multiplayer options. But we have to like do special editing to it, so you might not see that video come out till next week. Either next week or Sunday you'll see it come out but this one is coming out today obviously but um yeah I'm sorry for not uploading on Thursday but we had uh, we thought we were gonna do that video so I'll put it off till Sunday but I'll just do this one this week and then if we get to it by Sunday then great but anyways basically this is gonna be I'm gonna show you how to do it from Riku and Riku is a let me go there it's actually a website where you can find uh, mods for like Flight Simulator X and this other thing called like Prepared 3D but this is only for Flight Simulator X but anyways when you download something from Raku you'll see a zipped file right here so what you want to do first is you want to unzip that file click extract all you can extract it wherever you want in this case I just make a duplicate folder extract then you can just delete the old zip file you don't need that anymore go into the new file then that's unzipped and double click this wizard here and this is gonna put you through a setup wizard from Raku it's gonna ask you what language um, go through all this stuff and then you can either I need to install it to Microsoft Flight Simulator because that's what we're doing I just want to install all these things to downloads because that's easier. Install. Then you just gotta wait while it installs the files because the the folder actually only comes with a little wizard that opens it. All right, and then you just finish. And then now you can just delete this old folder because you don't need that wizard anymore. Oops, I accidentally just made a copy of it. Shortcut. Okay, well, and then you have you can see the ignore this file. This is something different. Um right here you have sim objects and inside airplanes you see the folder for the plane and then you have effects so basically what you do with effects is you go in there you copy everything from there then you go to the effects folder under program files x86 or wherever it is steam steam apps common fsx or it could be microsoft if you have it on uh, microsoft store i have it on steam then you go to the effects folder and you click paste in there and it pastes the two effects and then you can get rid of the effects because you've already done that. Oops, I just messed that up. Oh, okay. And then let's go to Sim Objects, Airplanes. And you can take this folder for the plane and you can move it to uh, Airplanes. You can see now, uh, where is it? It should be here somewhere. There we go, PAA 38800 VC Air France. Okay, then you want to go to uh, your flight simulator. Let's go ahead and launch that. And I'll show you guys just to, to make sure that you guys see that it actually worked. But yeah, maybe in the future I'll do another video that shows how to do stuff from like flyaway simulation. The Riku software is, by the way, the most. by by far the most easy installation process for mods I can easily get um, mods from there because you just gotta run that little wizard and then if you know what to do then that's good but flyaway simulation that website is way more complex because you you have to get into like installing repaints which is really complicated and installing stuff so yeah I'll save that for another video but uh, let's just go check our aircraft real quick which, by the way, I know this is an outdated version of Flight Simulator. Hopefully in the future, maybe I could get, like, Flight Simulator 2020 or something, because that's really cool. Then if we look here, we can see we have the Airbus A380 Air France, which is, which is what we just installed. Let's go ahead and load that so you guys can just see it. See? We got our plane there now. So anyways, guys, that's how to install a mod from the website Riku. Um... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helped you guys out. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
uh, obviously to the channel and stay tuned for that video explaining Forza multiplayer controls if you have the game. Uh, it'll be coming out either Sunday or next Thursday. Me and Diesel are going to be collabing on that, but we have to do like some special editing, like I said, so it might be a while before we get that out. But anyways, yeah, in the future I'll do more videos on how to install repaints and mods from flyawaysimulation.com, which is more complex and would really help you guys out if I did that. But anyways, yeah, I hope this helped you guys out. Stay tuned for the future videos on Flight Simulator X mods. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.